Hey, what's going on, tribe? It's Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, so guys, I've been guided to give you guys another reading today, and this this is going to be some guidance from your angels. So whatever guidance you need to hear from your angels, or whatever you've been discussing with your angels, um, it's going to come out in the reading and give you a bit of direction, should I say? And um, these are general readings. So if the reading doesn't resonate with you, um, you may want to check out another reader to get a bit more insight where or where you're currently at on your path and my videos are timeless so when you come across this reading is for you um so let's begin anyway and if any of you guys are interested in a personal reading my readings are half price at the moment and if you are interested in pers um, purchasing a personal reading you can send me an email or you can um send me a DM on Instagram as well. Okay. <laughs> Alright, the first card is ground yourself. And the card says, when you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heaven heavenward. What's it say? Heaven Heavenward. Your attention and work are needed upon the earth. You're helping, we're helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so that's basically saying, um, your angels are basically telling you, you guys need to go out and ground. Um, because the new energies that's coming in, it's, um, yeah, they're intense, man. Um, they're intense, so if you've been feeling like you're floating, um, you're detaching from your physical body, um, you're not really looking after the physical body, these are all signs and symptoms of not being grounded. Um, and also, we're going into a new phase as well, so 2022 is officially here, because in the Mayan calendar, um, the new year starts with Aries, um, so 2022 officially starts now. Don't get um, too obsessed. Don't get too um, distracted with the Matrix January the first New Year because that's not how it is. Um, but yeah, some of you guys need to go out and ground. Um, so walking on Mother Earth, um, black crystals help ground. Um, grounding is to do with the root chakra. Um, if you can't go out and ground, try do some gardening. If you can't do gardening, try get some plant more plants in your home. Um, Go out and hug a tree, sit near a tree. Um, yeah, just being out in nature is really important right now and your angels are trying to communicate that with you. And this card, I just shuffled this and it come out again. <laughs> and then the next card is opportunity to forgive. And then the card says, this situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness we will help you release unforgiving thoughts feelings and energies and lift you to higher places of peace and compassion so what some of you are experiencing right now is you're experiencing an opportunity to forgive so whether it's an opportunity to forgive either yourself or another person um, the current lesson that you're experiencing is forgiveness and this is going to open up your heart chakra um, the What you've been through in the past may have made you block off your heart chakra and close it down to um, Stop giving and receiving love because as healers and empaths and light workers and stuff We have situations that arise in our lives that make us tend to close down our heart chakras um, But that stops the flow of energy of being able to give and receive love and like one of the ultimate, the ultimate um, feelings there is, is love. So you want to be able to be coming from a loving space and you want to be coming from your heart center. Um, your, as I call it, your heart center is where the divine and the human meet. Um, so if you're working with that, you're kind of, if you're not, if the, you've got a blockage in your heart chakra, you're kind of imbalanced. Um, so some of these may need to work with the, some rose quartz is what I'm getting told for some of you guys. Um, rose quartz um, yeah rose quartz is just coming 
Uh, so you want to be, and the thing about forgiveness, you want to, someone could have done you wrong, but you want to forgive them for you so you can move on. Um, yes, you can acknowledge what they've done, but you want to forgive them so um, you're not holding on to any negative emotions of them and resentment and stuff. So you can acknowledge what they've done, but then you can send them, you can say, yep, yeah, cool, um, I see what you've done. Um, we don't have to be cool. We can be civil, but like that's it. Like that kind. That's kind of done or whatever. And it can really hold you black. Hold you black. Hold you back being unforgiving because I experienced that. Um, that was one of my hardest lessons. And I was being unforgiving for ten years um, to a certain certain person. Um, so yeah, I know all about that forgiveness. And it really does work when you start working with forgiveness and self love and stuff and opening your heart. It really does work on God. I swear down. Um, and your next card is Innocence. And the card says, Beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth, as no one can alter God's hard work, <coughs> handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give, give us any guilt, anger or blame that may shroud your loving outlook enjoy the peace within your heart once more so some of you have had a situation um that you are the innocent person in maybe that's to do with the forgiveness one um yeah so in a situation you are the actual innocent one but you may be blaming yourself for what happened in this situation um so you need to forgive yourself not the other person the other person might have wronged you but if something happened to the other person um then you may blame yourself for what happened because that happened to it's, it's f so funny because i come up in these bloody readings as well it's so annoying uh, because yeah um if something happens to somebody you can blame yourself for what happened to them but it's not your fault if that made sense it's so weird so funny with these general readings but yeah you're innocent yeah there is um you don't need to be holding on to them negative emotions because nothing was your fault so blame guilt anger blame all of that there's none of none of that's your fault so you need to come to terms with that and forgive yourself and let go um because yeah the, none of them no, their emotions are not even yours and that's exactly what happened to me which is so weird i don't know who that message is for out there but um that's exactly what happened to me man and the, your next card is reward yourself and then the card says you've been given a lot of yourself late you've been given a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to re reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood and motivation in a constant high level. So that's what I was saying before about the given flow of energy. Um, some of these like empaths and healers or if you're on a journey, we tend to... Um, be givers and we don't like to receive so when someone's like oh yeah i'll help you out we're like Psh, nah mate <laughs> or we try to save everyone else and while we're trying to save everyone else we're hurting ourselves we're called the wounded healers by should i say um but yeah it's a time to reward yourself and rewarding yourself is a form of self-love so just for you women out there go get your nails done um, go get your held hair done pamper yourselves a little bit um and for you men need to look after yourselves as well. It's not about just being in the gym and fucking trying to get all them gains in, bruv. Look after yourself. Do you know what I mean? Who are you trying to compare yourself to? I don't know who what masculine that is for, but yeah, some of you men need to just get more in tune with your feminine side and get more in touch with your feelings. <laughs> is what I'm kidding. Mm. It's alright to cry as a man, yeah? <laughs> but these times, um, yeah, it's time to reward yourself. You need it and it's a form of self-love as well and you appreciate it more when you do start doing stuff for you you start seeing how, how um, you start seeing things different and you start helping the flow of giving and receiving of energy because it's, it's about balance not just giving and not just receiving yeah and the next card is release and surrender and then the card says we shower you with blessings of our radiant love open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped in your hands open your hands arms and heart to our love and assistance yeah some of you guys are like i was saying some of you guys are in that cocoon phase 
Um, I keep saying this in every reading. Um, yes, yeah, so a lot of you are doing some release work and letting go at this moment. So it, sometimes it can be so uncomfortable. So what you need to do is surrender. Um, ask the universe to kind of help you release and surrender. And sometimes surrendering... Um, <laughs> I'm 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 stubborn, so I don't like to surrender in it. Um, I like to fight. So surrendering is not like giving in, should I say? It's more of just like going with the flow and letting the universe take care of it, and kind of not holding on to the emotions, but letting the emotions flow through you. So if you're feeling sad, okay, acknowledge you're feeling sad. Yeah, cry, let it out, scream, shout, wave it all about, or whatever. Um, just let it flow through you. And then come back to centre. When you're going through this, then when you're doing a lot of le 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 release and surrender work, you need to be kind and gentle with yourself and show yourself some compassion because you're going through a lot of stuff. And some of them things may be deep trauma that's deep in the cells, not just emotions. They can be in your muscles and um, in your bones and shit. Like, listen, the energy doesn't have no boundaries. So it can be deep in your core system, man. Um, so yeah, a lot of you are going some release work. Some of you will be losing a lot of, not losing, we don't like to say losing. If you're having a lot of endings, some people may not resonate with you. So you may not be resonating with certain friends, family members, or even jobs may not resonate with you. Um, and that's okay. And that's also an ending as well. So um, you, some of you may be grieving as well. Doesn't mean you have to be grieving a loss of a death of someone, but just um, like grieving, you could be grieving over losing a partner because you no longer resonate with them, and that's okay. But um, the longer you've been in a certain situation, the the more grief work you have to. Pro the longer the grief will be, not longer, but um, it's going to be more deep rooted, should I say? Like if you was going out with someone for like ten years and then you decided to break up with them, you're gonna have 10 years of healing to do, to not 10 years, but like the familiarity and the comfort zone and all that stuff, is, um, that's no longer gonna be there. So that's gonna be something you're gonna to have to get used to, which I've experienced, which kind of sucked. <laughs> it's funny, cause I've come up in these general readings. And then some of you's got a new partner coming on the way, man. <coughs> and the card says, a, a chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to meet the, to set the wheels in motion for the fruitation of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. Yes, yeah, so some of you are meeting a new partner. Some of you's got a new partner coming on the way, or maybe that's. Um, what you've been wanting um you want a more fulfilling um relationship that the surface level stuff no longer serves you now um some of you are on this twin flame journey journey as well so some of you um may bump into your twin flame or you've already met your twin flame but union may be coming if you or your twin ain't ready um for union um you may get another soul mate that can come in and assist you until union is ready, should I say. Um, but yeah, some of you've got a new partner coming in. And they're going to be more on your level. They're going to nourish your soul, not your ego. Is what I'm getting. Yeah. And then your next card is changing direction. And then the card says, the changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance you are protected now and in the future so follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire yeah like i was saying you, you got some of you are changing direction man so you're getting onto your life purpose or change it just changing direction maybe you're some of you are growing internally you are shifted um so you're trying to find what path you want to go down and where you want to be in life. You're starting to see the bigger picture. Um, some of you is like Dumbo is what I'm getting. Um, and your guide, some of you, yeah, some of you is like Dumbo is what I'm getting, really weird. Um, yeah, some of you, yeah, so some of you may be transitioning, like I was saying, there's a change in direction. Um, so some of you may be in the 
cocoon phase as I keep saying so when you're in the cocoon phase it's going to be very uncomfortable and there's going to be a lot of contemplating and um, it's like hermit mode you're kind of trying to figure out where you want to go and where you want to be and what's my life purpose and where do I want to be in life and what's my goals and stuff so there's going to be a lot of contemplating but you're changing direction some of you are no longer the person you used to be some of you may have had an ego death um, some of you may be experiencing a dark night of the soul also um, and a dark night of the soul does suck guys I'm not gonna lie but yeah some of you are definitely changing in direction and your souls some of you are growing some of you are shifted some of you are no longer the person you used to be and that can be scary as well um, like things that used to be familiar to you no longer resonate with you and that can kind of suck um, and the next card is family um, this situation is rooted in a emotional experience with a family member which can help you to understand and heal in your mind and heart sur surround this person yourself and the experience with calmly blue light and many angels be open to to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace so some of you what i'm getting for this some of you have got mum issues man some of you have got mum issues and if you've got mum got mum or dad issues um they can tend to them they're the like deep rooted lessons deep trauma and they can tend to be projected into the external world so if you still got a bit of unrealed unhealed trauma against family members they will that lesson will still keep kind of popping up in partners if that makes sense so if you've got mum issues or dad issues they're going to keep popping up in partners that you seek um to keep reminding you to basically you need to heal that that aspect of you if that makes sense um some of you some of you may have abandonment issues is what i'm getting um Some of you are meant to work with children, or some of you are going to be having children. Um, some of you are here to also help um, help heal ancestral ancestral curses or um, un uh, heal ancestral patterns. Um, is what I'm getting. Ancestral. Ancestral karma, maybe I don't know. It's something to do with ancestral healing. Is what I'm getting. Um, so that can be quite of a big. But most of the, our generations have got a lot to deal with at the moment. We've got a, not our generations, but um, if you was born in the eighties and nineties, you've got a lot of a lot of a lot of healing to do. And it's not just for oneself. It's more like a collect collective ancestral and self. So we've got quite a big job. So give yourself some credit, guys. Yeah. Give yourself some fucking credit. And then your last card is, yeah, let go of the past, man, fuck. And then the card says, the burden of care, <coughs> <coughs> the burden of carting your, car, your past around has made you weary. Dear one, it is time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it and it is gone. Yeah, some of you are, like I was saying, letting go, surrendering, man. It shows up in the reading. Some of you are letting go, surrendering. Um, some of you are a bit scared of your past or your past is coming up to get healed. And um, if you're scared about showing someone your past, don't be scared of, well, it depends how they are as a person. Um, use your intuition and your discernment here because you can't open up to everyone. But um, share your past with people, man. Like if you've met a new partner, as this one says, share your past and they can share their past with you so you might be able to bounce off each other and then that is also healing when you can discuss what's happened in your past and your blocks and things that's happened because once you hold it when, if you keep it all um held up it's not going anywhere but um that's your reading guys if you like the video like share subscribe don't be shy i see you guys watching but i don't see you guys liking um and if any of you guys are interested in a personal reading um, send me an email or send me a DM on Instagram um, and peace, love and light driver and I'm going to hit you guys up real soon.